the movie begins in black and white. Leonard wakes up in a motel room, feeling confused about where he is and how he got there. He struggles with a memory problem that makes him forget things every few minutes, except for one tragic event, the attack and murder of his wife. Through tattoos and notes, Leonard tries to piece together clues about his wife's killer. He talks on the phone with someone who claims they've spoken before, but Leonard can't remember. He tells the caller about Sammy Jenkins, a man with a similar memory problem. It is revealed that Leonard used to investigate a similar case to Sammy's, but he wanted to prove Sammy's issue was psychological, not physical, to save money for his company. The time shifts to the past. After observing Sammy's behavior and expressions, Leonard suspects that Sammy might be lying about his condition. He decides to run tests to determine the nature of Sammy's memory issue. Through these tests, Leonard confirms his suspicions. Sammy's problem is psychological, not physical. This discovery allows Leonard to save his company a significant amount of money and advance his career. However, the revelation that Sammy's condition is not physical raises the possibility that Sammy could recover his memory and overcome his forgetfulness. Sammy's wife tries various methods to help him regain his memory, but none prove successful. Desperate for a solution, Sammy's wife turns to Leonard for advice. Leonard reluctantly suggests that it's theoretically possible for Sammy to snap out of his condition, though he's not entirely convinced himself. His main concern remains protecting his company and his own interests. As a final attempt to trigger Sammy's memory, Sammy's wife asks him to administer her insulin shots, knowing that multiple doses could be fatal. She believes that risking her life might shock Sammy into realizing his mistake and returning to his senses. In the flashback story of Sammy, Despite his wife's desperate attempt to trigger his memory by having him administer her insulin shots, Sammy continues to inject her, resulting in her passing away. With his wife gone, Sammy becomes helpless and is placed in a care home, marking the tragic end of their story. Returning to the present, Leonard remains on the phone with the mysterious caller, who provides him with insights into the killer of his wife. Leonard sifts through various reports and files, grappling with missing pages and redacted information while working with the caller to piece together the answers. What is known so far is that the killer goes by the name John G., or Jimmy G., Leonard and the caller uncover that this individual was involved in drug dealing. Suddenly, Leonard notices a new tattoo on his body, bearing the warning never answer the phone, suggesting a recent manipulation or deception over the phone. Realizing the potential danger posed by the person on the other end of the line, Leonard demands to know their identity, but the caller abruptly hangs up. Shortly after, Bert, a hotel employee, informs Leonard of a police officer downstairs who wishes to speak with him. Leonard declines, but soon receives an envelope slipped under his door containing a photo of himself pointing to his chest, raising further questions and suspicions. As Leonard faintly recognizes the significance of the photo, he feels a surge of determination and decides to pick up the ringing phone once more. Battling his inner paranoia, he cautiously interrogates the caller driven by a mix of fear and curiosity, only to learn that the culprit behind his wife's tragedy is none other than Jimmy Grant, a notorious drug dealer operating out of a local bar where his girlfriend works. This revelation strikes a deep chord within Leonard, aligning perfectly with the clues he's been piecing together in his investigation. With a blend of apprehension and resolve, Leonard agrees to meet the cop, Officer Gamble, downstairs in the lobby. As they come face to face, Leonard feels a tinge of familiarity and quickly snaps a photo of Gamble, hoping to commit his face to memory. However, Gamble introduces himself as Teddy, urging Leonard to use the alias instead. Leonard, always eager to comply with authority, jots down Teddy beneath the photo, adding another piece to his growing collection of reminders. Together, Leonard and Teddy make up a plan to confront Jimmy Grant, their target in the quest for justice. When Jimmy arrives, expecting a drug deal, Leonard feels compelled to act. In a tense moment, Leonard is forced to deal with Jimmy, leaving the room filled with tension and unanswered questions. However, in his final moments, Jimmy's mysterious utterance of Sammy confuses Leonard. As Leonard struggles with what happened, his memory fails him again, and he asks for help from Gamble, who conveniently enters the scene. Gamble, pretending to be a police officer, tries to trick Leonard claiming a past connection that Leonard knows is untrue. But as Leonard looks at the photo of Gamble, he suddenly understands that they aren't really friends. In that moment, 
Leonard realizes that Gamel's true identity remains a mystery, prompting him to dig deeper into the web of lies and manipulation surrounding him. Gamel reveals that Leonard is actually Sammy Jenkins, and his wife survived the attack incident but was accidentally killed by Leonard due to his memory loss, similar to Sammy's wife in Leonard's story. He manipulates Leonard into believing false revenge scenarios, using him to kill criminals named John and Jimmy G while profiting from their deaths. Despite the truth, Leonard continues to play along with Gamel's manipulation, clinging to the illusion of purpose and revenge. Reluctantly, Leonard decides to keep pursuing his quest for revenge, even though he's aware that he's changing reports and tearing out important pages. His frustration with Gamel intensifies as he senses manipulation, but Gamel doesn't seem bothered, knowing Leonard will forget soon anyway. Learning that Gamel might also be involved as a John G adds another layer of complication to Leonard's suspicions. Realizing Gamel's deceit, Leonard takes note of his license plate number and reminds himself not to trust him. These actions become breadcrumbs for Leonard to follow, leading him closer to discovering Gamel's true identity as John Edward Gamel. At an important moment, bits and pieces of Leonard's mixed-up memories come back, like the tattoo on his chest that says I've done it. This tattoo makes Leonard think he's already gotten revenge for his wife's death by getting rid of the real John G. With a strong desire to find out more, Leonard goes to a tattoo shop to gather clues. He carefully puts together hints to uncover Teddy's real identity as John Edward Gamble, the person he thinks might have killed his wife. When Gamble shows up, Leonard keeps calling him Teddy, sticking to the plan and keeping up the act. Gamble, now dropping the act of being a cop, tries to avoid suspicion by suggesting there might be someone else pulling the strings. But Leonard isn't fooled by Gamble's tricks. He stays firm in his determination to find out what really happened to his wife despite Gamel's attempts to throw him off track. Meanwhile, Gamel is putting in a lot of effort to gain Leonard's trust back. He hopes they can team up again to hunt down others like John G and take their stuff. But Leonard is still wary of Gamel's motives, relying on a photo that makes Gamel look untrustworthy. While going through his stuff, Leonard finds a note meant for Jimmy Grant. Because he often forgets things, he mistakenly thinks it's for him. This mix-up sends Leonard on a journey to the address written on the note, relying solely on his fuzzy memories to guide him. When Leonard arrives at the address, he encounters Natalie, a woman he can't recall meeting before. Natalie is taken aback by Leonard's sudden appearance and tries to engage him in conversation to understand his purpose. Unaware of Leonard's memory issues, she discreetly tests his recollection, but Leonard remains oblivious to his forgetfulness. As they converse, Leonard unintentionally reveals his quest to find his wife's killer, relying on fragmented memories and clues. Intrigued by Leonard's resolve, Natalie begins to grasp the gravity of his situation and the depth of his determination. Natalie then shares that her boyfriend, Jimmy Grant, disappeared after meeting someone named Teddy. Teddy took a lot of money and left Jimmy's fate unknown. What Natalie doesn't know is that Leonard and Gamel are the ones behind Jimmy's disappearance, which makes things even more complicated. Meanwhile, Dodd, a friend of Jimmy's, starts to think that Natalie might be involved in Jimmy's sudden disappearance. He feels angry and wants to get back at her for what he thinks she did. Natalie believes she can manipulate Leonard into taking action against Dodd by making him feel angry and threatened. She resorts to verbally attacking Leonard's deceased wife, hoping to provoke a reaction from him. As Leonard reacts in frustration, Natalie seizes the opportunity to portray Dodd as the culprit behind her injuries. Upon returning, Natalie capitalizes on Leonard's memory lapses, falsely attributing her injuries to Dodd's actions. Exploiting Leonard's vulnerability, she convinces him to confront Dodd to ensure their safety. As Leonard prepares to confront Dodd, he encounters Gamel unexpectedly waiting in his car. Initially mistaking Gamel for Dodd, Leonard is on the verge of attacking him until Gamel reminds him of their friendship by referencing Sammy Jenkins, a topic Leonard only discusses with close acquaintances. This revelation brings a moment of clarity for Leonard, allowing him to recognize Gamel as Teddy, his ally in their shared journey. Gamel, also known as Teddy, advises Leonard not to trust Natalie and urges him to take precautions by writing a note to that effect on her picture. Despite Gamel's warning, Leonard hesitates torn between his instincts and his desire to trust Natalie. Ultimately, he scratches out the message upon Gamel's departure, unsure of whom to believe amidst the tangled web of deception and uncertainty. 
Reminded by Gamel that his temporary residence is at the discount in motel, Leonard retraces his steps back to his room, seeking solace in the familiar surroundings. Inside his room, he attempts to recreate a semblance of his previous life, haunted by the longing to briefly relive the moments before the tragic incident that altered the course of his existence forever. In an effort to recapture the essence of his lost happiness, Leonard arranges for an escort to pose as his wife, surrounding himself with her belongings in a poignant yet futile attempt to bridge the gap between past and present. As Leonard bids farewell to the escort, he asks her to close the door with force, aiming to relive the moment of waking up next to his wife. After this, he is reminded of the time when his wife was by his side. However, the feeling quickly fades, leaving Leonard alone to deal with his memories. Looking for a quiet place, Leonard burns his wife's belongings as a way to let go of his past. Each item consumed by the fire represents a part of his history, burned away by his sadness and longing. Though it's a painful process, it helps Leonard confront his emotions and start moving forward. Meanwhile, Dodd joins the chase, following Leonard in pursuit of Jimmy Grant's stolen car. The chase is chaotic, and Leonard struggles to figure out who is chasing whom. Despite the confusion, Leonard manages to escape, taking a moment to review his notes about Dodd's involvement in Natalie's troubles. Thinking his pursuer is Dodd, Leonard plans to surprise him at Dodd's motel room and get revenge. Armed with a makeshift weapon, Leonard hesitates as he forgets his purpose for a moment. Lost in thought, he ends up getting distracted by the simple act of taking a shower, momentarily forgetting his mission. However, Leonard's brief moment of calm doesn't last long as Dodd suddenly appears, leading to a heated altercation between them. Despite feeling confused, Leonard manages to overpower Dodd, restraining him and locking him in a closet. Yet, Leonard's sense of victory feels hollow as he struggles to remember why they were fighting in the first place. Consulting his notes for clarity, Leonard is reminded of his mission to hand Dodd over to Teddy or eliminate him entirely. In the next moment, Gamel responds to Leonard's call for help by arriving on the scene. Together, they free Dodd from the closet, using Dodd's own gun to aid them. Despite their combined efforts, both Leonard and Gamel are left puzzled by Leonard's earlier actions, unable to understand why Dodd was confined. However, there's a lingering suspicion that Gamel might hold some answers, a possibility that will be explored further in their subsequent conversation. Before returning to Natalie's place, Leonard had inscribed a note on his photo of Dodd, prompting him to inquire about Dodd's identity from Natalie. Arriving at Natalie's door, Leonard is visibly perplexed and distressed, still grappling with the aftermath of his encounter with Dodd. Natalie, relieved by Dodd's removal from the equation, extends comfort to Leonard, assuring him that his actions were justified. Sensing Leonard's unease, she assists him in unwinding and preparing for sleep, taking note of his tattoos in the process. Expressing gratitude for Natalie's support, Leonard reaffirms his commitment to their shared mission of locating John G. As they prepare to retire for the night, they engage in discussions about plans for the upcoming day, with Natalie proposing to seek assistance from an acquaintance who may possess valuable information regarding John G.'s whereabouts. The next day, Natalie reminds Leonard about her friend who can help match the license plate on his leg with John G.'s driver's license. Leonard is thrilled at the idea of getting this important information, so he and Natalie plan to meet up to make it happen. Later on, Leonard and Gamel meet at a restaurant to talk. They discuss Leonard's memory problem and how it affects their efforts to find justice. Upon receiving the important details from Natalie, Leonard finally gets hold of the hidden address where he intends to face and deal with John G. Back at his motel room, Leonard carefully examines all the clues he's gathered, gradually putting everything together. Eventually, he reaches a significant realization, Teddy, who goes by various names like Gamel or John Edward Gamel, is the same person he's been relentlessly chasing down as John G. However, Leonard understands that this discovery only signifies another phase in his never-ending mission for justice. Driven by his strong determination, Leonard writes a clear message behind Gamel's picture to remind himself of his unwavering goal to seek justice for his wife's attack and murder. When Gamel arrives at the motel lobby, Leonard, keeping his true feelings hidden, leads him to the secluded spot where Jimmy Grant meets his tragic fate. In a crucial moment filled with determination, Leonard takes action to finally bring an end to Gamel's life, fulfilling his long-awaited quest for retribution. Remember to subscribe and turn on notifications, so you can watch more movies like this. Thanks for watching.